Hey y'all, I am Steve with Adventure Outdoors and today I wanted to share with you a communications prep that I doubt that you have even thought about. Now I've thought about it simply because I did it for 20 something years. You know, everybody's got their smartphones and there's a couple people out there that probably still have a flip phone, but you know, we are living in some crazy times right now what if you just dropped it, broke it? What if it got wet? What if it quit working? What if you couldn't get another one quickly? What if you're traveling and you drive off and this thing falls on the ground and you're out of communications? You are dead in the water. What are you going to do? Stop at a payphone? I think not. There's a reason that I carry one of these. This is a telephone lineman's test set. I had a career at the phone company. So I've used these for most of my life, it seems. But I'm gonna show you how they work and what you can do in an emergency. I carry one of these with me all the time. So just in case the new technology fails me, I've got a little bit of older technology to fall back on. The advantages of carrying one of these is there are tons and tons of people who still have landlines. I don't. I got rid of mine years ago. However, you know, houses, churches, businesses, they've all, pretty much all of those have landlines. So all you would have to do in an emergency situation is just search. You can go up and clip on to the boxes at houses, open up boxes at businesses. You know, you might get run off, but then again, you know, depending on your situation, uh, even if you had to wait for cover of darkness, you've got a communications tool where you can call for emergency services, call home, whatever. I'm gonna show you how to use one of these as well but start thinking outside the box. You know, okay, what if, what if I do lose my cell phone? What if the grid goes down um, and the cell towers are out, you know, and you need to call home or someone, you know, it's just, there's so many things that having one of these with you can be extremely useful in an SHTF or just a regular emergency where you need to make a phone call. What you need is really simple. You need the test set and you need a terminal wrench. Now on the terminal wrench, this is a telephone lineman style wrench. On one end there's a 3 8 inch and on the other end there's a 7 16 So you know, if you have one of these, great. You can buy them. I'm going to show you some links or just simple tools, 3 8 and a 7 16 And you can pretty much access all of the telephone lines that you want. That tool will get you into everything. All right, before we go a lot further, let me show you what a typical telephone line will look like. A telephone line is basically a positive and a negative. That's an easy way for you to think of it. In telephone terms, it's basically called a tip and ring. It's a two-line circuit. And each landline where you get your dial tone from is called a pair. So right there, two wires equal a pair. And generally, 99% of the time, they will be multicolored. So one of the conductors will be one color and the other conductor will be another color. They're color coded, but you don't need to worry about the color codes. What you want to do is you want to discover a pair of wires with your headset that has dial tone and that you can make a call from. So what you want to ultimately do is you want to clip the alligator clips on your telephone test set across the conductors and then once you've done that in your search for a hot circuit with dial tone 
you will then use your test set to look for dial tone. When you've got dial tone, you can make your call. Now I cut the wire and I stripped it back for illustration purposes, but you don't really have to cut the wires. What you're going to do is you see this kind of stub right there on the alligator clip. Well, under that is a bunch of little spiky things, and that's going to pinch right through the telephone wire conductor right into the um, pair itself. So all you have to do literally is just go across your wire, pinch, take your other conductor right under there, pinch it, and they will pierce the conductor, and you can check your dial tone also that way. Now I will say this, that generally there is usually no danger of any type of electrical shock. It is very rare. If it happens, maybe your feet are wet or something like that, you might get a little tingle, but under most all conditions, this is not a life-threatening thing for you to try, okay? I made it through a whole career without killing myself clipping across phone lines. So, don't be afraid. All right, you know when you're driving down the road and you see these green boxes beside the road? Those are usually telephone pedestals. Uh, you, there may be cable TV. A lot of times the utilities will group everything together. There'll be a electrical box, there'll be a telephone, and there may be a cable TV. Telephone, usually the taller square ones, you know, the powers, the giant ones. And cable TV is usually the shorter ones. If you've got your wrench, you can generally open up the telephone pedestal. It's going to have a mass, a big old gob of all kind of colored wires, and it may have some kind of gooey stuff on it for waterproofing. Um, take your test set. It's got a speaker on it. You can hit the speaker button or you can just click it on so it's on and then start going through those pairs like I showed you. You know, pull a pair, squeeze, listen, nothing, keep going. But when you hit the dial tone, you'll hear it. Turn around and make your call and you're good. You're golden. Right here you have a typical telephone box on the side of a house this is an old one and uh, I've been out of the business for a while so this is um, this is what they is this is what it's typically going to look something like this they call them telephone network interfaces or network devices or I'm not really sure what the terminology is now but you use your terminal wrench to gain access you open this door and basically there is going to be these are, are a demarcation for your house on one side is the telephone company lines on the other side is the wiring that goes to the jacks in the house so right here it says telephone company access only I'm gonna open this See, these lines are all dead because I don't have landline service here but when you open it up, these are your incoming telephone company lines. So if you have to go to somebody's house to try and get yourself some emergency communications, this is the side you're gonna be interested in in searching for dial tone. This black line, this is the phone line coming into the house, has a white blue pair and a white orange pair. At one time, this house had two separate lines. so. These are the pairs that you're interested in and clipping onto to see if there's a dial tone. So like I said before, go across the conductor, pinch, go across the other conductor, pinch, turn your test set on, listen for a dial tone. If you get it, make your call. Okay, there is your communications prep that you may not have thought of. Um, I think this is just too valuable to have, especially now, man, things are going crazy. 2020 is bizarre. Um, but yeah, these are easy to use. I've given you a little crash course on how to use it. 
Uh, these are readily available on Amazon. They're around $100. That is not bad to have that peace of mind to know that if your cell phone goes out or you lose it, break it, whatever, you can literally stop alongside a road and make a call to whoever you need to. The wrenches, uh, you don't even have to have one of these if you've got, you know, sockets yourself, but these are around $12, $13. That right there, put that in a little kit. If you're out and about, throw it in your vehicle. If you're traveling, throw it in your car. So easy. And then you got that little bit of peace of mind. So links will be in the description. Uh, if you do get this, let me know. Let me know how it works. If you need help, obviously, you can uh, message me and I'll help you out. Okay. I am done. It's time for me to go get a glass of sweet iced tea and relax. And maybe not watch the news. Okay? Alright, I'm Steve, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Hey.